This baby monkey named Coco was born at Wisconsin National Primate Research Center. According to workers there, an adult macaque, severely stressed by this extreme, unnatural, long-term confinement, attacked her, resulting in deep, painful cuts to her face. These frightened and protective mothers and their infants cried as workers pulled them apart. A PETA investigator worked undercover in this lab for six months. This pacing macaque, Noah, had been there for nearly 22 years. He spent every day and every night locked in a steel cage in a windowless room with nowhere to go, nothing to see or do, and not even a blanket to sleep on. Cornelius, who was usually caged all alone, sat constantly, hunched over, having lost his will to live. Listen to this supervisor admit that only PETA's investigator would take a few minutes to help him. You can give him something every day, something to do every day. Okay. Uh, just know that when you're not in there, it's probably not going to happen. Many anxious animals, like Charlie, pulled out their own hair, a sign of extreme psychological distress. Another macaque, Princess, had apparently plucked herself nearly bald, but was still forced to breed. All her babies would eventually be taken away from her so that experimenters could torment and kill them. Some monkeys, frustrated by a lifetime of confinement, injured themselves and attacked their cage mates. According to staff, this monkey mutilated his own leg right down to the muscle. Ellie lost part of her ear in a fight with her cage mate, with whom she was trapped in just a few square feet of space. This worker described frequent injuries. Some of those monkeys can't live with other monkeys because they're assholes. Every time we put you with another monkey, you beat the crap out of them. Unfortunately, it takes a few injuries to figure that out. Constant captivity drives highly intelligent animals mad. Monkeys paced, circled, or rocked back and forth endlessly. Others constantly shrieked. Misery for these animals began on day one. Macaques had to give birth in barren, wire-floored cages. Some infants were put in a bleak basement with only a stuffed animal for comfort. This infant's ears were stained green after workers tattooed them. Workers transferred these monkeys by their metal collars to a restraint chair, then electroshocked their penises until they ejaculated. Many of these smart, sensitive animals, who in their natural habitats explore and socialize in vast grasslands and lush forests, are bred and warehoused for years. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has fined Wisconsin National Primary Research Center many times for depriving animals of basic care, but nothing seems to change. Please demand that the National Institutes of Health stop using taxpayer money to lock up and test on primates and focus instead on relevant, state-of-the-art, non-animal research. Thank you.